Hello, I'm Josh Demel. This is Zoe, and you're watching Rescue Wagon: Tales from the Road. So this is Zoe. Zoe is a dachshund. Which one you I'd always wanted a dog, mom never let me have one. So I went to a, a breeder and I bought her. And shortly after that, I brought her to the set of Las Vegas to show her off. And Lori Zerwick, who is who was the UPM, the unit production manager on the show, <laughs> literally scolded me and said, what are you doing? There are millions of dogs and cats out there that are looking for people to adopt them. Why, why didn't you adopt? And I go, I didn't know about adopting. So when we decided to get a friend for Zoe, we looked into rescuing and we found a little guy named Meatloaf. Meatloaf was special. He passed away a couple years ago and after that I got really involved with advocating animal rescue. So I just think that it's important that people understand that there are literally millions of dogs out there that make amazing pets that are out there waiting. So if you're considering, you know, getting a dog, I would highly recommend adopting. Previously on Rescue Wagon, Tales from the Road, Cowboy the Corgi and Frank the Black Lab went home with their new parents. I even got to stop by Animal Humane Society to check things out. But one of the dogs from our Rescue Wagon transport is still waiting to find his forever home. Every week, the Rescue Wagon program delivers three loads of dogs to Animal Humane Society. Hundreds of dogs find new homes this way every month. Only a few days have passed since the rescue wagon truck delivered our 21 dogs. Thanks to countless helping hands along the way, 20 have already found new homes. Except Isaiah, the retriever mix. Back in Missouri, he was surrendered by someone who found him dumped on their property. He's the last of our dogs waiting to find a home. My name's Jackie Johnston and uh, I live in this home with my husband Ray. My daughter got married three months ago and so she still very much comes round and especially Sundays. She's going to be coming out with me to look for a dog because um, I've been without a dog for a while and I just cannot bear not having uh, a dog run down the stairs when I come home. I have a big soft spot for retrievers having had a golden retriever in the past and I still look at them and my heart melts. Something along that line, those lines is what I'm looking for. We're on a mission um, to just go and look, um, but I know what I'm like and I'm sure once I start looking there may be a dog on a leash coming home with me at some point. Oh look at him. Hi sweetie. Hello. What's your name? Who are you? Oh, you're giving me licks. Oh, oh isn't he sweet? Yeah, and they're lovely, Alex. Okay, all right, thank you. Do you love him? I do, I do. Yeah, it's, it's just a, a connection you have. There's just something about this dog. I like to look the dog in the eye. And when we look at you like this, and you look very special, and then I know whether you're my doggy or not. Yeah, you're my doggy. And I say, this dog, I just connected straight away. Oh, Hi there. Isaiah. Oh, he's lovely. Yeah, we love him. Yeah. yeah. I you think gonna, this is... Are you going to get him? This is definitely the dog for us, you yeah. You have home buddies. Yeah. Oh, yeah, it's exciting. Yeah. Look at that smile. Yeah, <laughs> smiling. <laughs> just a few minutes later, Isaiah, the last dog from our rescue wagon transport, walks through Animal Humane Society for the last time to Jackie, his new mom. I am happy to what? announce Hi. the adoption of Isaiah. Isaiah came to us via rescue wagon. Congratulations to Isaiah and his new family. Hi, we're at home now with um, the dog. We've had him for months now and we have decided to change his name so he's uh, now known as Beamer. We were very excited to bring him home and I bought a toy home uh, much to my delight. He was 
enjoyed playing with the toy, chasing it around, rolling around and around and around as if he was sort of, you know, hey, where am I, you know, making this my home. It was great. This morning he came up close to, to the cat, um, the ginger one, who, who loves dogs and animals, and she was sort of going around his legs and rubbing herself against him. So I think they're going to be friends. My two-and-a-half-year-old grandson came yesterday with my other daughter. Oliver, sit. Now Beamer said, good boy Beamer. He was perfect again. And my older daughter kept saying, Mum, you've got a perfect dog. She said, how have you done it? And we certainly have. So I made a good decision adopting this dog. He's a perfect dog. This winter, 21 homeless dogs found themselves at Carthage Humane Society just outside Joplin, Missouri. They couldn't tell anyone what they'd been through. He came to us from an individual who found him dumped on their property. So the shelter staff learned what little they could. His owner had too many dogs and she couldn't keep this precious thing. They fell in love with each and every one. Obviously she's beautiful. But faced with the crisis of pet overpopulation in this country, shelters like Carthage struggle to save innocent lives. Americans love animals. In 2012, more than 60% of U.S. households included at least one pet. But there just aren't enough homes to go around. So every year, 4 million dogs and cats are euthanized just for lack of space. The nation's largest funder of animal welfare efforts, PetSmart Charities, works with shelters and rescue groups across the country to combat pet homelessness. Neither Carthage Humane Society nor Animal Humane Society euthanize for space, but many other shelters do. So the work of saving lives continues. As a leader in pet adoptions, PetSmart Charities finds homes for over 400,000 dogs and cats every single year. I couldn't believe in this cause more. You know, working with people at, at these shelters just reinforces that every single day. I cry sometimes, but it's part of the job. I know I'm a big guy and everything, but I kind of have a soft spot for little dogs. It's just so rewarding when we get to see them go home and live with a family. Being able to find homes for these pets uh, who, you know, may not find homes or may be neglected or, or you know, wandering the streets, um, it, it really makes you feel good at the end of the day. Established in 2004, PetSmart Charities Rescue Wagon Program has saved more than 70,000 animals. Rescue Wagon saves lives. We transport dogs and puppies from communities that have more dogs and puppies than they do homes, and we move them to communities uh, where they can readily find a home in a couple of days. We're very glad we picked her up. She completes our family. So Rescue Wagon doesn't just save the lives of, of dogs. It changes the lives of people who work in shelters and let us cheerlead for them and coach them and guide them. And it changes the lives for people on the destination side who are adopting these pets who need this pet, who just want to be loved. I think it was meant to be, yeah. Who loves you better than a dog? Because of the Rescue Wagon program and many caring people along the way, all 21 of our dogs got a second chance, including Isaiah. Saved by Carthage Humane Society and driven 600 miles by Rescue Wagon truck drivers, Debbie and Jesse. Yeah, let's go. And they were taken in and cared for by Animal Humane Society. Within one week, all 21 dogs were adopted by loving families. No longer homeless, no longer hungry or afraid, our dogs aren't statistics anymore. Now they're family members, loved and cherished, like all dogs should be. You too can save a life. Rescue, adopt, love. Hey, I'm Will Champlin, and this song is dedicated to the rescue wagon community and all the little cute dogs out there. You got no place to go, feeling left behind, sad and alone. Don't be afraid to come out of the cold. Now you don't have to roam. So climb on board, yeah. We've got a long way to go. It won't be long now. We'll find you.
Hello, I'm Josh DeMel. Thank you so much for watching Rescue Wagon, Tales from the Road. We've had an amazing time making this series, and I've learned so much about animal rescue and adoption, and I hope you have too. But there's a lot of work that needs to be done, and we hope that you help us spread the word. Thank you again for watching, and so long. Bye-bye. Say goodbye. Say goodbye. Bye. Bye. See you later. Oh, 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 oh. You know I did it for these dogs. Oh, 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 oh. You know I did it for these dogs. Oh, 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 oh. You know I did it for these dogs. Oh, 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 oh. You know I did it for these dogs. Rescue wagon saving the day. People, dogs, we all the same. Gold collar chains go dang a dang a lang. We doing it big, taking over this game. See the wheels turn thousand miles. We ride, rolling through freeways, pushing through the nights. We got heroes to combat the wind and the sand. Paranormal puppies to every human.